Hey guys, how's it going? So for this video, I wanted to do more of a commentary of what I'm doing, as opposed to giving my thoughts behind the art type of thing. Just because I've never done that and I wanted to give it a try, so let's do this. So for this drawing, you can see I like to start my drawings by doing a sketch at first. I start off by doing a rough sketch of where I want the drawing to be and I build the idea of what I am trying to make. In this case, it's a man on his knees with his head dug into the Bible and praying before God with a dove descending, what represents the Holy Spirit coming over the man, as I've called this illustration the spirit of prayer. And on top of the dove is the Lord Jesus with a large jar pouring out water, which is symbolic of the Spirit and his work of cleansing and regeneration. As you can see, now I already have drawn the main idea and drawn the sketch of the man, and I've already begun to do some thicker line work over the rough sketch. I didn't do a lot of rough sketching for this one because I've drawn this piece before and I kind of had the idea for it already. But normally I would probably do a lot of rough sketching where I'll start off by drawing shapes before I work on the form to get a solid illustration. As you can see, I'm now doing solid line work and I'm just adjusting some of the line work that I have done beforehand to add weight to the lines. Now here, to add more contrast to the drawing, I'm adding more cross hatching and this makes the drawing have that darker shade where the shadows would go. And as you can see also I'm doing more line work here. Because the drawing is already set, it's easy to know where I'm going to be adding weight to the line. And you can see here I had to fix the neck of the dove. Sometimes uh, when I notice that the certain drawing is a little out of proportion, all I gotta do is erase some of those lines and redo them. <laughs> Here I use the lasso tool to edit the wings, just because sometimes when I see the drawing it can look a little out of proportion, in this case the wing should, have, should be a little smaller because of the angle of the dove. That wing is supposed to be farther away which makes it, it would, it would have to look a little smaller. So yeah, the lasso tool is very helpful to move certain objects in a particular layer. All you have to do is circle around the pixels you want to move in a particular layer and then once you do that you use the move tool to drag it over to wherever you want it. By now you can see that I am working on the shadow areas using the crosshatch to fill in those shadows. Using the crosshatch gives it a nice texture every time you use it for shadows. It's just you have to be really careful where you do it because uh, there is such a thing as doing it too much that it can start to drawing. You just gotta be careful with where you use it. Like for, for instance on light areas you might use it but just don't crosshatch too much. It also depends on how heavy you want the drawing to be. For instance for this one I'm not doing a heavy sketch meaning there's a lot of light areas in this drawing. There's some that have really heavy shadows. This one isn't one of those drawings. At this point, I began to draw a splash effect, drawing the water splashing from the man's back. For this water effect, I had to do some research just because the drawing, just because drawing water can be tricky. And since this is a sketch, there's a certain look that I was going for. It's, it's not just a drawing, it's not just drawing lines. There has to be a certain flow that carries through consistently the motion of the water. So I looked through a few Google images that I found helpful to borrow ideas from that showed good water sketches. But yeah, at this point the drawing is at a pretty solid state, close to finish. I'm mostly just adding more line work to create a textured look to give it some contrast. But yeah, this is pretty much it. I didn't do a lot to it since it wasn't a painting that I was doing this time. But this is the overall drawing and I'm really happy with it. You guys have enjoyed watching the process but yeah thanks for tuning in and watching this art time lapse hope you guys liked it if so hit the like button and let me know what you thought of the video in the comment section don't forget to subscribe for more and hit that bell to be notified when new videos come out all right guys till next time bye, -bye.